All right, we're back. Cold of Athena Blade Reviews. We've got a Cold Steel item today. This is the Cold Steel Maasai Spear. This is a hunting spear. Um, it actually comes uh, in separate parts when you get it. We'll take a look at some specs on it. You got to thrust a pumpkin with this one. thought it was uh, pretty fitting for the season as well. And uh, let's take a look at this one, do some up close looks, and see what we got. All right, starting off with specs. This blade comes in a Kydex sheath. The blade is 22 inches. It comes with a little snap on it. That way you can keep this secured so you don't have a 22 inch spear blade just sliding out of the sheath. So we'll put that down for now. This one, um, it comes in separate parts when you get it in the box. So this is the box. So it comes in the box. It's really simple to put together. It's actually just, um, if you see pumpkin on it, it's because I already did the cutting on it. But it's just, you just screw these into the actual handle. You just screw those in. There are four screws in total to put this together. It's really simple to put together. Uh, some features on this one, it's got a hardwood handle. We have a steel tip on the very end. So this is a good handle, good length of the handle on this, but you can also choke down. The end of this one is pointy. So you have kind of a blunted reverse tip on it as well you could just stick it in the ground that can definitely help rather than damaging your spear uh, we also have enough uh, room on the handle with a guard here so i really like the guard and there's about about a finger and a half to two fingers distance of where it starts to run an edge which is actually a good safety feature in case your hand was to skip over this um, you're not going right into a razor blade edge so we have um, s50c carbon steel for the blade steel on this one um, it's obviously coated which is going to make it easier to clean if you were using this for some type of hunting maybe you live in texas and you're doing boar hunting or wild pig hunting um, that would be kind of gnarly if you were if you do that with this make sure you comment below on that an overall weight of three pounds two ounces on this one the wood handle is american ash wood so pretty dependable in multiple different climates especially if you are in america so the handle's solid, it's really easy to put together. Um, looking at the end of it, I should mention this is called the shoe. So this is actually called the shoe that you're putting on the very back of it. Again, technically you could look at it like you have a spear on the front and you have a blunted tip on the back. This could also just be you sticking this in the ground and just having something secure for that in case you wanted to put that down. You also have a nice uh, sheath that comes with it, a Kydex sheath, so it'll keep uh, moisture out of it. And having the blade coated and the shoe coated definitely helps with uh, really easy maintenance with this one. Features that I really like on it, I already did the cutting with it. I did primarily thrusting because it's a spear. Uh, I did a little bit of slashing with it because I know people are going to ask about it. I also did a few strikes with the shoe as well so people can see that. Um, some features that I like on it other than the guard are this cutout, so you'll see that it bellies up and then it's cut out all the way through the back of it. About four finger distance is where it stops. And really, I mean, other than keeping solid construction of the blade, only real other reason you would have a cutout like this is for thrusting to release suction. So you can feel that um, if you put the whole blade in it, at least from a pumpkin, from my perspective of it, if you put more than half the blade in it, that's where you're going to have to yank it out. Um, it's really easy on short jabbing thrusts, as you'll see in the cutting, on these different short jabbing thrusts, and even working into more of extended thrusts, going into pull cues, and into little slashes as well. It did pretty solid. It's got a tough blade on it. Uh, I kind of mentioned this before in the cutting, but the edge is battle ready, as we categorize it at Cult of Athena, meaning that the edge has got a pull, and it's functionally sharp so it's not hair shaving sharp i'm sure you could touch it up or get a sharpening service if you'd like click the little check mark on this on this link for this blade and the spear on the cult of athena website and we could probably take care of that for you you don't really need it though personally if you like your stuff to be hair shaving sharp though i'm sure mark would be more than happy to put an edge on this for you let's do some quick up close looks at this one it is pretty aesthetically pleasing it's got some cool features um I'm going to clean more of the pumpkin off of that before we do it, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this spear up close. All right, so up close looks, it makes the most sense just to do it from here. And this is cut out, so this is the actual 
part of the spear. So this does cut out right here. This is, this is the plastic part, the kydex. Then we have a little snap right here. That just secures it in place. So you can draw it. Good snap. Doesn't feel like it's going to fall off. You do have ways to like rig this. I don't know what you would really rig it on, to be honest with you. Here's the screws that go into it. It's really simple. You just screw them in. They just they stay with the pressure of the screws. American Ash. And then the shoe. You'll see that you have plenty of room, plenty of grip. You can go down a little bit further, obviously, to the end of it. And then the very pointy shoe tip. So don't drop this on your foot because it is sharp. Um, it's not razor blade sharp, but if you drop it on your foot, you probably have a pretty bad day. But again, just a little look at it. Drawing it is simple. Even if you just have it upright, take the little snap off first. Watch your fingers. You can draw it like that. If you wanted to be a little bit lower, keep the blade away from you and then draw that out and you got it. Not a whole lot of speed drawing or anything like that. It's not really designed for that. This is probably not traditional to a African spear, but it's a really good safety feature. So you'll just have a spear, a, raised, a sharp spear uh, laying around your house or around in your garage somewhere. So um, took a look at the up close looks at it. Pretty solid. Um, it's balanced quite evenly. Um, it is balanced more obviously for the spear side of it, which you would expect it to, but the shoe offers a good counterbalance. Could you throw it? You could. Um, I did I did throw it at the pumpkin one time. It, it flies well. I mean, I don't have a lot of experience in spear throwing, but I did try it because I know people want to see it. Um, but yeah, I would say it's a pretty solid spear. Not too heavy, got a good edge on it. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the cutting with this and the thrusting with it. Um, obviously I did mostly thrusting as it is a spear, so let's take a look at that. I know somebody's going to ask too, so we're obviously seeing how well the blade is, how sharp it is. Can you strike with this one at the butt end yes it's actually pretty pointy um do not drop this on your foot um it's actually pretty pointy i'll thrust it just so you can see what uh what this can do to a pumpkin all right so there you have it for the cold steel maasai spear this is an african hunting spear did a really good job on the thrusting with it did a little bit of slashing and also, I know people are going to ask, so hitting with the shoe as well. If you like weapons like this, if you want to see more pole arms, let us know in the comments. If you want to see more Cold Steel products, also please let us know in the comments what you want to see. As always, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Click the little bell so you get alerted when we get a new video. And we'll see you in the next one.